Uh, now we will be creating a PDS that is partition data set earlier we have created a physical sequential file we have we know how to use a one view option and a two edit option using that physical sequential file now we will be creating a PDS using a third option that is three under utilities and here the same I need to create a data set for this this press option two as a data set then here instead of data sets I can name it as PDS okay and then uh, select option A here then press enter so it will be asking you the same storage class volume serial device type and it, let it be default and the primary quantity I want to give as 50 try uh, secondary quantity as 50 and again the directory blocks uh, that is nothing but how many members you wanted to create I can give it as 20 then the fixed block the record length should be 80 and it can be 800 80 into 10 then the type data set name type should be a PDS okay I'm typing it as PDS okay then enter see the data set has been successfully created right in order to check whether the data set is created successfully or not how to do that just go back and see view and then enter PDS enter so you cannot see the data PDS why because it the folder is just created so it says no members in this data sets that means you have created a folder when you're trying to open a folder the folder is empty it says the same way you have created the PDS but inside the PDS you don't have any members created right so we, so that this is that's the place where it gets highlighted here right you can see the cursor here and you can see the messages no members in data set so now uh, if we create a members for this then we can create uh, we can see that particular data sets okay so now we are done with creating a PDS. Now in the next tutorial we will see how to create a members.